Oh, the puppy. Oh, the puppy. Hello. Say hello to the people. Say, hey, say hello. No, not me. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, she's good girl. You're good. Oh, you're good girl. Okay, go away. All right. Um, today's little video is putting together. <coughs> no. I said go to you. Go away. Go on. <coughs> Uh, putting together a fire frame new. today instead of cutting everything out as I go I've pre-cut everything so it's just a matter of putting it together I will put all the measurements on the in the comments of what I'm doing um, so that you can make it as well and if you like what I do and then please subscribe um, yeah comment hit the bell you know stand on your head blow your socks off make a noise just let me know that you enjoy it anyway start up ends glue no it's on the floor and i've also readjusted my jig for putting these into it just to make everything a little bit easier afraid of using glue. Right. Glue is going to hold the boxes together in the long run. Now, I'm doing this slightly different. What I do, the ends have got this check out that's where the side of the, the ends of the frame sit so what I'm doing with them is that's funny, what's this? there we go is I am putting these to cover up the edges and these also double as handles so line them up Basically the box. Nice. So I leave a flap over the front as a landing board for the bees. Snugly. By the time that pulls up, yep. Right. Yeah, one, two. All right, glue, same thing. But I glue the ends on these as well.
because these need to regulate their temperature and I do a center hole and two on each line but to keep the water out I put it in on an angle see that there because they're angled down like angled like that water hits it it's not going to run in and annoy the bees but it is going to give good air ventilation last job would be to get the hole drill which was there I will remove that so I know where it is to go painting but right, queen excluder vent or normal operations for bees going in and out snug fit lid goes on that's ready for painting quick easy simple I put the measurements in the bottom of the yeah in the bottom and um, let me know what you think hopefully you can save yourself some money by copying and repeating the process cheers me out Back again, I figured I'd show you how to do the clips on the box. Um, yeah, make them up. It's just, they're not hard to do. They're just as effective as the bought ones. And it completes the video. So, it's ready for painting. Alright, okay. Me up close and personal. Now, those clips you see on the side of bee boxes. You can make them. Basically, you want a high tensile wire. Like this stuff here. This is fencing wire, but you know I'm sure you can buy it in shorter amounts at your general hardware. Just make sure you ask for high tensile or spring wire. And what you do is you get the end there, and you twist it down first with whatever tools you happen to have, and you get come in from the bottom, like so, that's besides the point, and twist it back up so that you form an eyelet and you open up your and give it a pinch to shut it all right bend it up a bit all right get roughly the center and bend that down keeping that eyelet vertical bend that down not all the way just so you've got a slight triangle like so really lousy on the centre but that doesn't matter All right. and then you grab the end other end and bend it up a little so you end up with basically that eyelet ridge half a hook then to 
you repeat the process like that one which I made earlier and then to mount it you need a couple of screws short ones not too long you don't want to go all the way through your timber unless you're willing to cut it off you want the top of the hook roughly center so washer on the screw through the eyelet that just stops it from jumping off figure out your rough center screw that on so that it pivots on make sure it's nice and evened up at the top point put in another screw then you pull that down and find your lower point to which Next screw goes in. Another short. Feet on the other side. done. Works just as effectively as the bought ones. Just a whole lot cheaper. Right. That's ready for painting. Oh, I do do one other thing. Just as a neatness thing. And that is round off the corners. That's ready for painting. You can sand it if you want to. You don't have to. It just makes it look a bit prettier. But there you go. Done.